Character references are one of the most important things that a person takes to court with them. And the, the referee can either attend court or it can be in writing. Both of them are valuable tools in helping a person to get the best result. The aim of a character reference is to show what a person is truly like. It's not just to say they're a wonderful person and we think the best of them. It's to say, Johnny is a person who helps his neighbours. I remember seeing him recently helping Mrs Smith next door to mow her lawn. Or you've got to be very specific in them for them to be useful. If they're just general, they fade in value. Um, what you need to address in a character reference, a written one obviously, is that um, what the charge is that a person is facing. You need to address how long you have known the person for. It's really um, of limited use if a person has only known you for a week to get a character reference from them. But you don't need a priest or a, a local dignitary to write a character reference. The best character references come from people who know you well, such as your family or your close friends. The reason for that is that they are able to tell the court through their written character reference what remorse you've shown and how upset you are about what's happened. And often the character references are as valuable as the lawyer because it's four or five people saying, look, John's a really nice guy and ever since this happened he's been saying to me, I'm so ashamed, I'm so hurt that I have done this thing that is wrong. Um, and that shows to the magistrate or judge who the person truly is in a way that a lawyer often can't convey. Um, to be useful in court, not only does it have to show that you're aware of what the charge is, it needs to show that you know whether the person has been in trouble before. Because there's no point tendering a character reference to the court that says he's a great guy, he's never going to do this again if he's already done it twice before, say with a drink driving. You've got to articulate what it is that's changed about him, but you've also just got to be honest and frank. So if a person has has prize, then talk about it. He told me about his previous convictions. Um, the other thing that concerns the court is that people don't tell um, their character references everything and then they send in a reference and it doesn't really reflect the situation. So you need to have been told the detail or you tell the person the detail and then they write it out. The other two very important things are firstly if you have an official letterhead you run your own business or you work for a company if you're allowed to put it on the letterhead because it just distinguishes it makes it clearer who you are and where you sit in the community. Um, the second thing is you need to sign and date your character reference. So what we say with our clients is get them into us early so that we can have a look at them and if they're matters that we want someone to expand on then we have time to say look that's really fascinating about his charitable work can you put in more detail how long he's been doing it for how you've come to know about that. The other thing is there are templates on our website which give you an example of how character references look. So if you're doing a written one then go and have a look at those. If you're doing an oral one then obviously the lawyers for your friend um, or family member should be getting you in and talking to you about it and they'll explain the drill of what you do in court. Good luck with it all.